Okay, we are going to do lesson, lesson 4-8, which is equations. This equal sign, we understand now that we're in third grade, that it doesn't just mean 1 plus 6, and here's where we write our answer. It means that this 7 has the same value as what's on the other side, 1 plus 6. So 1 plus 6 has a value of 7, so therefore 7 is equal to 7, and that's what that equal sign means. Just like when we write 3 times 4 is equal to 12. This equal sign means this has the same value as that. 3 times 4 is truly the same value as what's on the other side. So if we look at our page here for 4-8, an equation is a number sentence that uses an equal sign to show the value that on the left side is the same value on the right side. It's like a scale. And we remember that equation almost has the word equal in it, but they cross it and make it an equation. But that's equation means there's an equal sign. So if we're looking at this one, we have 18 divided by two and we have three times three. So what expression, expression means there's no equal sign. So the expression over here is 18 divided by two and the expression over here is three times three. So, 18 divided by 2. You're asking yourself, what times 2 equals 18? And that's 9. And then 3 times 3 is 9. So, we can put an equal. So, 18 divided by 2 is equal to 3 times 3. It looks really crazy, but when you break it down, 3 times 3 is 9, and 18 divided by 2 is 9. Therefore, the scales balance out, and, and they're equal on both sides. Okay, Nadine, Franklin, and Jason all brought the same number of cans for the food drive. All together they brought 15 cans. So how many students brought the same number of cans? It would be Nadine, Franklin, and Jason. So that's three. How many cans did they bring all together? That's 15. Okay, so if we use our cool fact family, we know the total is 15. Three of them brought the same number. We want to know how many did they each bring to get 15. They have three equal groups, how many, three equal students, if you will. How many cans did they each bring to get 15? Okay, use the question mark symbol to represent the total number of cans each student brought. So write an equation to represent the problem. So we know we, we have a total of 15 divided by, by the three students is going to tell us how many cans each student brought. So what multiplication problem can we have? It can be three times what equals 15. And what does the question mark stand for? Three times what? What number should you put in there instead of that? It should be five. So how many cans did each student bring? All right, on the back, Sam walked three miles each day at camp. At the end of camp, he had walked a total of 18 miles. So three miles each day, total of 18 miles. And how many days was he at camp? So three miles each day times we don't know how many days will equal a total of 18 miles. So three times what equals 18? So work that out, and it should be, so check and make sure that makes sense. If he was there six days, it would be three days and three days, day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, and day six, nine and nine, nine plus nine is 18. So he was there a total of six days. Good job.